All right, it is 12 o'clock on the dot, so we will get started with Kristen and BHHS Resource Flyers. Uh, this is the third of our March 2022 Blitz sessions regarding the BHHS Resource Center. Again, uh, thank you for everyone who's been here this morning, who's here for this 12 o'clock, and uh, look forward to seeing some of you tomorrow uh, for social media and uh, benefits and uh, tools, or benefit, not tools, but benefits and um, discounts. Rewards, rewards, discounts. This, thank you, Kristen. I was trying to draw a blank on the word discounts. So benefits and discounts uh, that you can use or take advantage of as a member of BHHS HSF affiliates. All right, so without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Kristen Fredericks for BHHS Resource Flyers. All right, thank, thank you so much. All right, I'm going to turn off my camera just to save a little bit of bandwidth here and then go ahead and share my screen. All right, just as a reminder, I know you've heard this multiple times if you've been in my classes, but just in case this is your first one today, you can get to BHHS resource and marketing resource, which is what we're talking about today from Town Central. Uh, here's the button right here in the center, BHHS resource. There's also a button right here, BHHS resource. This is an SSO or single sign on, so there's no username and password required. You can go ahead and just click that. It'll go ahead and open up the BHHS Resource Center, which of course is the national or global uh, intranet for BHHS. And today we're talking about the marketing resource and tools in the marketing resource. So if you go ahead and click that, it's gonna open up a new window and I've already done that for the sake of time. Um, and it's brought me to marketing resource and this is what marketing resource looks like. Um, the first couple of classes I did today covered uh, e-cards and it also covered e-newsletters. Um, this third class today focuses very specifically on flyers. So the system has an entire library of flyers. And I know when people think about flyers, they're actually thinking about property flyers. But I want you to expand your knowledge on this. Um, there are lots and lots of different flyers in the BHHS uh, marketing resource system. Um, some have to do with property. Some have to do with marketing yourself. There's even listing presentation pieces in here. There's an amazing library of flyers that are available to you. So you can get there one of two different ways. You can either go ahead and click that library and it's going to take you to the whole master library, or you can go ahead and search on the master library just for flyers. So if you were to just put in the word flyer in here in the master library and click search. It's going to bring up all the flyers that are available in the system. I'm going to go back because I want to show you that other way to get there just so that you know how you can sort to get to just the flyers if you don't use the search bar. So give me one second. I'm going to go back to that home page. And instead of using the search bar here, I'm going to click library. Remember these do the same thing. If I go ahead and click library, it's going to bring in the whole library. This is everything. Videos, e-cards, social media images, everything is in here. You can sort over here by type and just check the box next to flyer. So it brings you to the same place, just two different ways of getting there. Um, the one thing I do like about sorting by type, however, is that we can actually sort this by what we'd like to do. Um, but for, before we do that, let's take a look at all the different flyers that are in the system. Because again, I want you to see that there are lots and lots of different flyers in here. So we have flyers about, um, so of course we have calendar flyers, we have property flyers, um, just listed, just sold. Don't forget that when you're looking at the flyers that are in here, these are just for placement purposes. If you want to use this for just listed and use this for a listing, um, you can go ahead and do that. It's You're going to be able to change any of this text. Um, if you want to put the property address here, you can do you can do that as well. Just know that you can change these text boxes to fit what you need. But as we scroll down, I want you to see we have some other things in here, things that could go into even your listing presentations. Um, so determine your real estate needs and lifestyle goals. Don't just buy real estate, develop a plan. Here's some more decorating tips. Um, some of these things might be useful, um, you know, especially if you're going into a listing where you want to just present some additional information there. So home staging tips. Lots of different things in here. So these are all flyers that are available in the system. Okay, I do want you to notice too that some of these flyers are multi home flyers. Yeah. Um, they're made to be used for marketing. Uh, yeah. So if you wanted to do marketing class, if you wanted that. to do a flyer 
um, that maybe had all of your solds on it and you wanted to go ahead and send that out or maybe you just wanted to have that as a presentation piece you could certainly go ahead and do that and have multiple properties on one section maybe you have multiple listings available in a particular neighborhood so when you're showing it you want to go ahead and put a, a flyer together that have all those properties in there or even similar types of properties that are available you can go ahead and do that. Um, we have letters. Notice we have this open text flyer with optional images. Um, this is literally a, a blank page for you to go ahead and put any information or a letter in. Um, this is great for writing those holiday letters that you might send out or maybe some prospecting um, letters. You can actually go ahead and do that as well. So don't think about this in just the just the uh, property flyer. There's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of different options in here. So speaking of which, you can go ahead and sort this out by topic. So if you were only interested in a home selling or home buying flyer, you could go ahead and do that. If you were only interested in a prospecting flyer, you can go ahead and pull that out. Um, so you have lots and lots of different options here that you can go ahead and sort by. So for example, if I wanted something that was MLS enabled, so I just wanted to go ahead and pull the information in directly from the MLS, this would be great for just a home flyer. If I go ahead and click that, it's going to eliminate all the extra stuff like the listing presentation pieces and all the printable pieces, um, and it's just going to give me my property flyers that are in here. So I can go ahead and use those and bring in our MLS information automatically. But if I wanted to uncheck that, maybe I'm in the luxury collection and I just want to see all the different luxury collection options. So here are all of our different property flyers. Here's a great flyer that's a resume that's built out for luxury collection that's just about me that you can use to print okay so lots and lots of different things here i invite you to explore all the different topics that are available in here and just kind of take a look at the whole library and see what you see um for right now let's go ahead and just focus on a property flyer um because that's probably what you use it the most for so i'm going to go ahead and check that i want an mls enabled flyer just to make my life nice and easy i want something that i can just bring in all the information from the mls okay so we can go ahead and kind of scroll through and maybe let's try to find something that has a bunch of different pictures on it. Um, you know, I kind of like this one. This one's a fairly new one, uh, a new design right here. So let's go ahead and click on that. So it's going to allow us to preview it. It's going to bring in a slightly bigger version here that we can see, but then we can also hit the preview button once this goes ahead and loads and we can go ahead and see what that looks like in a large version. There we go. So here's our preview. We can go ahead and hit that preview button as well if we want to just to see a really big version. So here's a large version of what that's going to look like at the end. All right. So let's go ahead and use that one. Now, just like everything else in the system, it always starts with a get started button up here. And we're going to go ahead and give this a title. So let's call this one 123 Main Street. And it's going to go ahead and allow us to start changing things. Now, I want you to notice that everything in here that uh, either has a, a dot on it can be changed. So a green dot means it's ready to go. You can still change it, but it just means that the box is ready to go. And a yellow dot means that it won't let you do anything to it until it, it has been changed. Notice that you don't even have any buttons that allow you to do anything until all of those yellow dots are cleared. So this one says additional editing is required before this can be shared. So you can go ahead and upload individual photos if you want to. So if you just click those boxes, it's going to bring up the a very standard kind of box here. You can go ahead and upload your own photo. You can search for a photo if one is already in your system to use. Um, you can go ahead and do that. But most of us are probably just going to go ahead and use this listing feature over here on the right hand side. OK, notice this button over here on the right hand side listing and it says choose now. This is going to automatically bring in all of your all of individual listings. OK, so I can go ahead and choose any property from here and just by clicking it, and it's going to go ahead and bring in that information. Now, this came up in a previous class and I didn't show it, but I'm going to go ahead and show it here. Um, if you are holding it, maybe an open house for somebody else and you want to go ahead and print out some flyers that have your information on them. Um, if it's not one of your listings or if you're a co-lister and it's not in this list, you can go ahead and click this box that says show all company listings. 
These are all of our company listings in the system, and then you can go ahead and use this search bar to find the property that you're looking for. OK, so it is going to bring in all of our properties in the system if you want to do that. You do have to check the box in order to make that happen over here that show all company listings. Otherwise, it's just a default. So you do have that again. So if you're holding an open house for somebody else, if you're a co-lister, um, whatever the, it might be, if you need a listing for, that's listed by somebody else or a different primary agent, then you can go ahead and click that show all company listings. All right, let's go ahead and choose a property here. And it's going to go ahead and bring in all this information. Now you're going to be able to edit this, but it is going to bring in the it's going to bring in the first however many photos we have. So if there's only two photos on the flyer or an e-card, it's only going to bring in the first two. Um, in this case, I think this one has five, so it's going to go ahead and bring in the first five. Um, it is going to let us edit those photos though. Um, so many times when we're putting stuff together into the MLS, we have you know we might start out with four front photos and then go into the interior um, or an exterior your photo might you know be halfway down we want to show up a beautiful garden or a beautiful patio or something like that um we are going to be able to change these photos once it comes in okay all right so here's this home and notice that it's starting to give us a couple of warnings here so we still don't have an option we can't do anything with this yet until we've cleared all this so let's start clearing all of these things and making some changes here um, let's start with this agent box first since we brought in our information. So it's telling us that we have to um, either turn off the team option or put a team logo in here. So since this is an individual agent, let us turn off the team logo option. So that's over here on this left hand side. So it says an agent and team logo. We can have co-agents, so that's two agents, or we can have a single agent. In this case, we'll just have a single agent. And that has cleared. Notice there's no more yellow boxes here. All the yellow boxes have cleared. Um, notice what has shown up up here. All of our different options for things that we can do with the flyer. So at this point in time, if we wanted to go ahead and just have this printed, make a, a PDF out of it, do whatever, the system says we're good to go. It is, however, giving us a warning that we have a lot of text and it has cut some off. Um, so while it would allow us to print it and the box is not yellow anymore, we do need to address this and it's going to turn bright red when there's something that needs to be addressed. Let's go ahead and address the text first. Um, I don't want to say just listed. These are going to be flyers that maybe I'm going to go ahead and put these in the home. And so I'm going to put one, two, three Main Street up here. I can put something like welcome home. I can do whatever I'd like to do up here. Um, notice that whenever you click into a text box that you do have this small editor area up here, so you can change the size. Let's make this one bigger again. Maybe we'll go up to 20. 24. Um, you can change the color. You can make it bold if you'd like to. You can change the font. We do have limited fonts that are available in here. Okay. So you can make any changes that you'd like and you can use this box for whatever you'd like. Um, it doesn't Online, it can be two. You can put whatever information you'd like to up here in that box. Okay. So we have a green box over here. Notice. So if we wanted to go ahead and change even the agent information, but we wanted to add MRP after this, we can go ahead and do that. Um, maybe we wanted to add some additional information up here at the top. Maybe a phone number. Um, whatever else you want to add up here. Okay. Maybe something like this. You know, we don't always put the MLS numbers on all of our flyers. We could always take that off if we wanted to. Um, maybe we just go ahead and leave it. We can always make changes here. Um, our MLS system uh, has an abbreviation, so maybe we want to spell this out instead. We'll make it trail. And then we need to address this box that has too much text in it here. So notice that it's it's here's our you can barely, barely, barely see it, but there's a tiny red line that goes right underneath that area that says, OK, this is where it ends with this piece right here. So maybe I need to go ahead and maybe I'm going to welcome to the one of the most beautiful deep water properties in Virginia Beach. Let's go ahead and just take that out and let's move that to the top. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So my bedrooms and baths, square footage and year built are still below the red line. But you know, in this kind of property, um, we can probably go ahead and do without that information and take that out. So now everything I have is going to be above, hopefully above the red line here. Nope. Just this any way you'd like. And let's go back and instead of here, we'll put All right. Oh. 
All right, so now it's happy with us. So we've made all these changes. All right, so we have photos and we've got too many exteriors. In my opinion, we don't have any interior photos. So remember I said the system was gonna go ahead and bring in your additional photos as well and allow you to change those. So if I go ahead and uh, click on any of these photos here, so I can either search my asset box. So if I have any photos that I've previously loaded, I can go ahead and put those in. But if I go ahead and scroll through, it's also going to bring in the additional photos right here that were loaded into the MLS. OK, let me show you that one more time. So I'm going to, for example, take this photo out. I want to exchange that for an interior. It's going to allow me to scroll through all of my photos here. OK, so I'm just going to go ahead and just make some changes so you can see what that looks like for an example. So notice it's saving up here. It's just reloading the photo. So there it's added in an interior. And if I do this again, so maybe I don't want this one. I want another interior here instead. Let's grab this one. And it's just going to go ahead and replace it. So whatever photos are in the MLS will show up on, on this scroll bar here. And you can go ahead and change those out. All right, so I'm satisfied with this flyer for right now. Um, obviously, we've just done this for some examples and changes. Um, everything here is where it needs to be. So we have all of our disclaimers on here. We're completely compliant with our office address and office phone number. We have our logos on here. Equal housing is written out right here in there. So we have all of our equal housing information in here. Um, we are ready to do something with this. Um, so this bar up here at the top shows us what we can do, okay? So we can go ahead and have these printed. If I hit that box to have these printed, it's going to go ahead and generate a PDF, but it's not going to generate a PDF for me to be able to download. It's actually going to be able to generate a PDF for me able to use in um, Express Docs. So if I want to go ahead and just make this and have it printed, I can look at that flyer, say, yes, I like this. I'm going to approve and continue. It's going to let me know that I'm leaving marketing resource and it's going to their print on demand vendor. Their print on demand vendor happens to be Express Docs, who we use anyway. And notice it's going to log you right into your account in here. It's going to bring in that flyer for you. You're just going to have to make some acknowledgments that yes, you understand that this is this is your flyer. You've made it. We're not in California, so we don't have to put our license number on it, but you do have to acknowledge that you may or may not be in California, but here's that flyer we just built. It's going to give us all of our pricing right here, so you can make your own choices. It's going to give us a quantity. We can choose between gloss text or gloss cover. If I choose gloss cover, it's going to give me some additional options. If I want to go ahead and make it uh, super shiny, if I want to give it that soft touch, whatever I want to do, it's going to have the pricing you know, as it comes through. And then I can go ahead and click next and it's going to go ahead and take me through that fulfillment process where I'm going to go ahead and pay for that. Let me go ahead and acknowledge this one more time. So I get my next button right here. I'm not going to go through this whole process because I obviously don't want to order this flyer, but you'll see that it's a fairly standard process here. Um, and then it's going to give you your shipping options. Now, how do you want to receive it? And then, of course, next is going to take you to those payment options. OK, so I'm not going to go ahead and click next because I don't want to I don't want to have this come through, um, but it does go to Express Docs. You can go ahead and build a flyer. You can go ahead and have it printed. Now, don't forget, this doesn't have to do with just property flyers. You can also print uh, sheets for a listing presentation if you wanted to go ahead and do some of those sheets. Um, if you wanted to print out 300, um, you know, really nice gloss text um prospecting letters that you wanted to send out and you wanted to stuff those in an envelope um, so you can go ahead and do those as well so just know that there is that printing option from express docs in here um, i'm going to go back to my flyer so that was that button right here okay so that's your print but i can also do a couple of other things with this i can also um, uh, put this into an e-card if i want to so if i went ahead and click that email button right here which is what that envelope is it's going to allow me to send an e-card. Now, your options are a little bit limited here because it's actually going to embed this flyer into a e-card. So it's going to show you that you have some options. So you only have a headline here. This is going to, going to kind of populate the flyer in here. This one is you, it's going to give you a headline you can adjust, but it's only going to this area is going to be for the flyer. So it's just going to give you some basic e-card options. I'm just going to go ahead and choose one so you can see what that looks like. And if you were just at my e-card class, you'll know that uh, the e-card system works exactly the same way. Things that you can edit are in green. 
Um, here's that embedded flyer that it just did. And then, of course, our agent branding. Now, I prefer to do the property flyers like this using a property e-card, an actual e-card built for properties versus doing a flyer like this. Um, it just comes out cleaner on the other end, but you can also do it this way. So I do want to let you know that you can do it this way. The risk that you run in this direction is that the intended recipient may get that box that says please download content and unfortunately your whole flyer would be content so they may have to they may not see it unless they go ahead and do that that's one of the reasons why i recommend that we that you use the regular e-card but if you do do it this way it is a complete option and as long as they they are either set to automatically download content like aol and gmail and things like that are um, but outlook users may have to go ahead and say yes i would like to accept the content that's in there okay so you can go ahead and send that out as an e-card. So that's number two. Um, you also have the ability to do a PDF. So if you just want to make a PDF and you want to have it, um, maybe you just want to print out maybe 10 copies for a quick open house or something like that. You just want to send it to your, your own printer just to make something super fast for the weekend. You took this listing on Friday. You just need something to hold you over. Um, you can certainly go ahead and do a PDF and go ahead and print that out. You can also make a link to this. So for those of you who might be wanting to post to something like Instagram where you can't post, um, you can't push this to straight to Instagram because uh, Instagram doesn't accept third party pushes yet. Um, you can certainly make a link uh, directly to this, put a photo up of the house and then put a link sticker on it and put the link in. It'll take them right over to the flyer. Um, and then you can also push to your social media. So you could go ahead and click on like the Facebook icon and it's gonna go ahead and bring up um, kind of a postable postable piece here. So this is uh, our headline, Deepwater Home. Here's the address that we've changed. Here's some information. We can still go ahead and edit it at this time if we want to go ahead and change our title, description, and calls to action before we go ahead and post it to Facebook. But notice that it brings in a beautiful branded photo with our logo on it already. It looks fabulous on here. And then you can go, if you make any changes to this, you can go ahead and make it hit save, and then you can hit post to Facebook. You can do the same thing for Twitter. You can do the same thing for LinkedIn. Now this account doesn't happen to be connected to Twitter um, to be able to post automatically. It's kind of the same thing, um, but you can go ahead. If you actually were connected to Twitter, it would automatically bring up the Twitter uh, window for you. You could go ahead and make any changes and post to it. Um, and again, same with LinkedIn. This one happens to not be connected to LinkedIn, but if you wanted to directly connect to your account, it would certainly go ahead and do that for you. Okay, so you can go ahead and connect to LinkedIn and then automatically post on LinkedIn. You do also have the ability to embed that flyer on your website. Uh, very, very few people are doing this for property flyers, but there is a use case for doing this with some of the listing presentation flyers. Um, instead, if you wanted to have that embedded on your website, especially if you're doing some prospecting where you might do something like um, get a checklist or or you know download some information for those of you who are doing some kind of those items of value or sometimes those squeeze pages um, having the ability to embed those flyers on your website and have people be able to download them after giving you information or just by clicking a link um, certainly comes in handy so that is available for you as well so those are the options with the flyers um, and that's all the things that you can do with them and how you build them. They're fairly easy to use. There's lots and lots of different professional ones in here. You can change your photos. You can change all your text. Um, you can do a lot of customization in here. Um, so I highly encourage you to kind of take a look and, and see what you see uh, and see if there's anything of interest to you to be able to go ahead and build your flyers in here. Um, I would be happy to take any questions at this time about the flyers. Any questions at all? All right. Well, then I thank you for spending your morning with me, learning more about the BHHS Marketing Resource. I hope to see some of you tomorrow for BHHS Social uh, Social Media Resource. Uh, I'll be teaching that in the morning. Um, otherwise, I hope you all have a great and successful day. Thank you so much.